<clears throat> hello, hello. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? We're going to go back to get another reaction. Today we're hopping into the Vampire Diaries episode 17, season 5, called Rescue Me. Hopefully, it's a great episode. Hope it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Patreon for the full reaction on cut episodes over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool episodes will be here on YouTube whenever they show up. So, previous episode. Previous episode uh, we had. <sighs> so, Elena and Damon were fighting, breaking up. Then they bang. They had sex. Uh, the main thing was that the person, the witch that was helping Bonnie isn't. Actually, uh, I don't know what's happening kind of witch. It's a, uh, he's bad. So we'll see where that goes. Was that, is that everything major that happened? I feel like that's everything major that happened. Oh yeah, Caroline and Enzo are going to go get, they were going to get something to help Stefan because Stefan was now, they were, they were doing stuff with the, uh, what do they call them? The watchers, not the watchers. What the hell are they called? Those uh, people, the travelers. Yeah, so. Just hop back in here, but yeah, they were doing stuff with the wild with the travelers. <clears throat> yeah, because they're going after they have to go kill that guy, right? Don't they have to kill that guy? Is that like the story? We'll take it from here. If you don't do it now, she's not gonna make it to the operating. Now your friends can go kill him. We're gonna follow Caroline and Enzo. Okay, definitely interesting. This season's interesting. I don't know if this season's that good. I think it's very okay. But I feel like it's the weakest of the seasons that we've had. I'm for, for being real. Who is them? Then who is? Damon Salvatore. What the hell? President. <clears throat> Why? Is that a thing? How? Why? I'm so confused. So the receptionist doesn't know Tom personally, but I compelled her to call someone who does. So when is this vision from? These visions that you're getting, where are they from? Mm. I thought they were like present day happening in the moment. We moved. Why? Like from being trapped and having no, being a different person, and then, I don't know. Are you Tom Avery? One and only. What can I do for you, Miss uh, Clark? Perfect. What a bad story for Stefan to constantly just be put in pain, like the way that they. I don't know. I, I don't like what they're doing. Just say something, please. Hey, 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 hey. Are you okay? Don't say anything, Bonnie. No, stop, Bonnie, you dumbass. Why would you? Why would you tell him? Obviously, he. Obviously, he's not who he says he is. silencing spell. Just a little bit of magic keeps nosy hybrid types from snooping. This show has a lot of good lore, but. Stuff from surrounding Elena right now are kind of it's kind of boring. Like she this was whole in a bloody trance, unable to answer questions. I don't see why you're mad. Her thing wore off. So has he been down here this whole time, tied up? Holy hell, she's been keeping him a lot. What the hell? I mean, I guess it's it. The dude's know, already. Go to such lengths to keep a man alive and off the grid for four months. Four months ago, Silas died. The original Stefan Gainer. Well, he's a dead ringer, all right. Or rather, soon to be dead. Wait. Silas was one. He's two. There's only three of them. Tom. Oh, that's true. I, mean, I wouldn't want to. <clears throat> I wonder if we're gonna dive into their. Friendship and they care more than they. I mean, it can't work though. That's the problem. Oh, did not see that coming. What's going on? Maybe say this is normal. I'm getting you out of here. So you're Liv's twin brother and a witch. Anything else I should know? Look. Please don't be mad at Liv, okay? My They're rushing the shit out of this story. I feel like mad. I'm creeped out. We got like a Why have you been 
watching me all day. Look, I'll tell you everything later, but I gotta go find Elena. And now Bonnie is... Okay. I feel like they go about shit, like, so dumb. Lucky us, first one's here. Shut up. And you never will. And you're gonna die. Damn. Little tip. If you're gonna show up to kill someone, don't waste... Let me know. He's gonna end up killing him, she. He's gonna end up dying. What? Aha. Uh -huh. Who's choking you? What? What? He's like, uh, wait, but why would you? What the fuck is happening? Chair, after all the things that you've been pulling at school, how can I trust you? You haven't exactly been making good decisions, okay? Really? We're doing this now? How do you expect me to care about school when this is my life? Exactly. I mean, take a look around. It's not like I could bring my teachers a note saying, hey, sorry I missed class. There's several characters in the show right now that are kind of like... Feel wasted, almost. Where the hell like, were you? Look, we wouldn't even be here if you would have just killed Elena. I was almost turned into an ashtray or whatever crap. <sighs> More townies. It was like a side, a spinoff show, right? Part of the deal, take it or leave it. Like setting up a spinoff. I don't think I've ever eaten so much in my yeah, life. Yeah, he's about yeah. to die, like Enzo. <laughs> and I so. suppose it was a fitting last supper. No! <laughs> For an opportunity, get the hell out of here together. Like, am I crazy? Is this like crazy for them to be like me to in the end want them to end up together? Is that like nuts? Like, look at this. You knew that's why you let me go because you does Bonnie leave? Because it ain't like, where's Jeremy going? Is he moving out? But like off the show or just with Tyler and Luke? You told me you're not packing for our honeymoon. I'm going back to campus. You realize you leaving doesn't solve anything, right? I wonder where she's going. She's just going back to campus, but what? I, it's not like they're not going to see each other. Like, it's not like she's leaving town. Like, Jeremy felt like he was leaving town, but I don't even think he's leaving town. Um, I haven't heard back. And Million questions, so it's a bit cornier than I would have made it. I wouldn't show them all coming, I would just show them all there and show one and then. Ah. All right, episode 17 Rescue Me. Um, all right. I mean, some great stuff, some amazing stuff. Everything with Caroline and Stefan was awesome. Uh, the Tom guy, that was all cool. Even the Enzo stuff was rock solid. I like that. I don't know what the fuck Jeremy's doing. And it just kind of felt like a weird ass thing. Uh, I actually, I mean, I'm hoping that this is the last romantic thing between Elena and anybody for a while. Like, that's my least favorite thing about this show. It just, the romance shit is so much, so often. It's actually quite, <laughs> quite annoying that they do it so much. And I get it. It's the show. It's what the show is. But I just feel like there was purpose before versus now it's like the uh, the showrunners are like, well, this is what people like, so let's just keep doing the same shit over and over again, which I don't love. It's will they, won't they? Who is she with now? I just... Do not. That's the Twilight shit I don't like. Um, but yeah, the Caroline stuff. Uh, during the reaction, I actually thought like maybe Elena's overstayed her welcome in the show. Be so heavily focused on her, like not getting her off the show, but for the show to be so heavily focused around her and Stefan, when there's so much interesting lore here that we could be exploring, which I guess is the point of the originals, which is what we're doing in that show. But like. I feel like this show, it doesn't know what it wants to do. Now it's, it has the Travelers and the other these witches, and now Jeremy, Matt, 
and Tyler are with the, this, these two witches and they're doing some shit. And that is way more interesting than this will they, won't they Elena shit. And I get it, you know, every, everything revolves around Elena, so it's all going to come full circle and it's going to come back around to her and it's going to focus. like So her leaving and all this, I get it, right? But at the same time, I don't know, I'm just not as into it. Like right now, she's leaving, but... Like she's leaving, but she's like, I'm going to go back to the campus. Even though we just told you that the travelers are coming to get you. Like you're in danger. And her thing is like, well, I'm going to go to campus and stay there with no protection. Because Caroline's not there. Then we got at the end, something was born at the end there. Like we, we created somebody. What, what did they call it? That's the guy that she was talking about. The, we were like, we assumed that guy was already existed and he was out in the world, but clearly... He was just born right there. He was born through whatever the fuck just happened to Bonnie. Um, I don't know. I just kind of want more from the show. And I'm so invested in the original story. And in this one, it's like the things I'm invested in, the show doesn't focus on. It focuses on stuff that I don't really care about, like the romance and Elena being Caroline or Catherine for so long and then that whole stuff. And we kind of rushed these witches, um, not the travelers, uh, the two witches that came in. Like we literally just found out about the that she was lying about how powerful she is and her brother and the twin. And then it's already this episode, the next episode already, bam, we know. I don't know. I'm curious about what we're going to do because it did feel like we were doing a spinoff. But I don't know. I don't. There's only three Vampire Diaries shows, right? There's not another spinoff that I don't know about. Maybe there is. You just have to let me know. Um, but yeah, overall, solid, okay episode. Um, great stuff, but just overall, just a solid, okay episode. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I don't really have much else to say. I think we kind of focused on everything. It seemed like um, Damon was like, he was like, he was okay with Elena leaving. He seemed to accept that he kissed her goodbye almost. So, all right, that's fine. We have the, the school stuff. This whole thing when she tried to kill Elena and then at the end, Jeremy was like, no, we, she knows more. We'll have to protect her. And then her saying, oh, Jeremy can see it coming. And I'm like, how do, how, how? how do we know any of this? Like, I wouldn't trust her. She just had to come my sister. She just had to come my sister. And how do you know that Jeremy can see shit coming? She kept saying, you're the, you're the a hunter, so you would see shit. But I don't know. Have they established how Jeremy would see shit coming before anybody else? Am I missing shit? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. That's the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to get out of here. Talk to you guys later.